Hey, what's going on, my Godzilla and Kong fans? This is your boy, Burn Godzilla Fan 1954 here, and we are back with another video. Today, we're doing uh, kind of like a box day review slash figure toy review, whatever. So, on my left, we got the new Playmates, uh, band, well, Playmates, uh, Burning Godzilla or Godzilla 1955 right here. Here's the 2014 sign. I'll show you guys the whole box right here. Uh, if you guys don't know this, I already got these two figures, so, and I just got these two right here, and on the right, we got the, uh, J. Jaguar from the 1974 movie, Godzilla vs. Megalon, same, same box and everything, and if you guys haven't already seen, we did get the two new graphic novels, Godzilla Dominion and Kingdom Kong, just got these in the mail today from Amazon, uh, they were a little bent, which I was kind of mad about, I might dispute them and get some new ones, but I might also not, so, um, I mean, I'm I'm not like really like complaining about it that much because I'm not gonna like because they're still in good condition. They were just a little bent, but I can probably flatten them out. So yeah, so let's start off with the Jet Jaguar first before we look into the rest of this stuff right here. So here it is. Here's Jet Jaguar. This was actually the last one I found in Target. So let's cut him open real quick. I'm gonna try not to break the box, but they did put him like that. So let me see if I can get this guy open. I mean, get this guy in the box real quick. Okay, guys, so we got him out of the box. So here's the figure itself right here. I'll give you guys a closer uh, look at him. Hopefully my camera gets it all in. So here's like a close-up at his like face and everything right there. So he can move. Whoops. Sorry about that, y'all. Sorry that the camera gets out of focus. So he can move his arms like that. He can't move them to the side at all. He can really only move them like that. Uh can't really move this arm but you can move his waist and you can move his head um he can't i mean i can try his feet don't move either i mean that you probably can but you have to like force it but i mean he really can't even stand up unless i like yeah he can't really stand up um i mean playmates did i guess a good job with like the paint considering it is playmates but i mean can't really like i mean i can yeah, he's not gonna stand up. So we'll just put him right here. Uh, on the rating scale, oops, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay him down right here. On the rating scale, I would give it a six out of ten. Uh, yeah, pop, yeah, six out of ten. So I'll just leave that there. Okay. Then we got burning. Then we'll put uh, burning Godzilla or Godzilla 1955. Let's get this guy out of the box real quick. Okay, so we got him out of the box. So here's how it looks at when you put the tail in. So we're gonna put this in real quick. Okay, and there we go. Here is the tail right here. So I've heard a lot of good things about this figure. The paint looks really good for playmates. You can move its arms all around like this right here. You can't really move this arm because his legs kind of blocking it, but you can move this arm all the way around. You can move his head all the way around and you can move his legs all the way around as well. So yeah. Uh, you can move his tail like that. Honestly, this figure is like a um, a, not, a eight or nine out of ten for me. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks really good. I think they did some really good job on the paint. I'll show you guys closer image of that. Oh, there's a little black spot right there, huh? Well, these were the only two I saw at Walmart. I mean, not Walmart. I'm sorry, Target. Um, I mean, everything looks good. I'll show you guys, you know, closer images. I mean, yeah. So you guys can see all that. Yeah. So that's really it for the two playmates. Um, two new playmates. Um, so I actually read both of these right here. This is like really good. Um, if you guys want me to like make a little like kind of like music video, like where there's music in the background and I show you guys like every single like image, it would be like something like this. And I would like show you guys um like pictures, like maybe they'll each be like maybe five, ten seconds long. Uh, or three seconds, probably at the least. And I'll show you guys that. You guys can pause it and read this instead of buying it. If y'all want me to do that. If y'all don't want me to do that, that's fine. Just tell me in the comments below. And if I get maybe like five, ten comments about y'all wanting me to do it. Like put music in the background and uh, flip the pages for y'all. Not like flip the pages, like do it like this. Like take pictures of it. And then the next picture y'all see would be this one. Like that. But yeah. Honestly, I would give both of these like a 10 out of 10 they were really good graphic novels 
Uh, I ordered the MonsterVerse Anthropology one, so that should be coming in sometime in June or July. But uh, yeah, this was like really good, and I and I really did like this um, graphic novel. Uh, if I had to choose, I mean, Godzilla Dominion was really good, but so was Kingdom Kong. Um, like it was, it was really good in my opinion. I mean, I really can't decide between either or. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys can see like um, see if I can find the page right here, like the Icarus Tiger. Um, so yeah, y'all could see that right there. And then I also like how they did in Kingdom Kong. They didn't do it in Monsters Anthropology, but in Kingdom Kong, they show you like the, the super, the st I can't say the word, but statistics of, um, like the creatures and stuff like there. Here's Kamazats right here. Um, here's the, uh, Spirit Tiger or Icarus Tiger. People called it the Icarus Tiger, but I guess it's called the Spirit Tiger. And then they showed one more, I think. Um. See if I can find it. I think they showed one more. Or maybe not. There's Kamazots. See, oh no, I guess that was it, yeah. So these two are the only ones I need again. I haven't got those two yet. Um, But yeah, that's kind of really it for the video, you guys. Um, And that's kind of really all I got today. Um, I should begin some more packages soon, maybe in a couple weeks from now. Um, Because I, I, I wanna buy my uh, Gozi, was, he, was it Gozi Bond? Those three new Gozi Bin figures, I want to buy the new figures from Godzilla Singular Point. So I'm definitely going to be buying those six. And then, if you guys haven't heard already or saw the video before this one, there's a new SH Monsters Gigan coming out. So that when I buy that one, which I will be buying, that'll be my third SH Monsters Gigan because I bought two: one for the final battle, and then one for the first battle he had with Godzilla in Final Wars. So this third one will be like the an extra one that I'll get. So yeah. Um, and that's kind of really it for the video, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.